Hello, my name is Wade Nomura, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. With me today, I have Steve Guile from the Rotary Club of Cayuca Seaside. Welcome, Steve. Thank you for having me. And thanks for coming, by the way. Oh, I appreciate Tell it. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your history, your background. Well, uh, when I was young. Yeah, um, <laughs> starting with when you were young? In the 60s, I was a musician, and I was in a musical show called Up With People for three years, where I met my wife. Wow. And uh, after that, uh, we really sat down one, one day and decided to start our own business, and we created Guile Enterprises, uh, which is a five-company uh, corporation, and we are retired from it, and our sons uh, work there. What kind of business yeah. is that? By well, the way? there were five different uh, uh, skill sets. We had distribution. We have a distribution company. Okay. We actually manufacture a product. We have a contract janitorial and oh. security guard okay. companies, and then uh, we have a high-tech security company with access control, surveillance cameras, etc. Got it. Now, yeah. how did you end up settling into <clears throat> Cayucas? It's not very... Uh, by accident, actually. We weren't <laughs> okay. looking to move there. And our sons kept saying, go look at Cayucas, go look at Cayucas. Finally, I asked them why. I mean, they like to surf. <laughs> and so we went over and uh, we found a house there and retired there be, uh, full time because my wife's health mm -hmm. just cleared up so much uh, because of the air. And, oh, good. Uh, it was just unbelievable difference. Yeah. And where did you um, come from? Fresno. Fresno. Came from Fresno, 37 years in the valley. And got it. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Now, tell us a little bit about your rotary experience. What got you into rotary? Oh, gosh. Uh, a friend of mine uh, who was a judge in Fresno uh, took me to a meeting there in the late 80s, early 90s. And, okay. and from there, of course, uh, I was invited, and I loved every minute of it. I was in charge of the youth exchange program oh. for four years at the Fresno okay. Club. And uh, that was one of the greatest experiences of my life. It was wonderful. No, um, that's it's hard on my wife, but it was wonderful. <laughs> that, that would be true. Uh, unfortunately, we don't do a lot of exchange here in our district, no, so no. I bet you probably miss bad. that. I really do. Yes, I do. Okay. I, I do miss that. But Cayucas has no high school, and it's small. Oh, I didn't quiet. know that. Right. No, no high school there. No, uh, Cambria and Morro Bay is where our graduates oh, go, go to high school, yeah. Okay, interesting. So uh, as far as Rotary, then, you started, you said, back in the, early, in the late 80s, early 90s? Yeah, right, right there, right around Fresno. 1990, yeah. Okay, did you uh, take a little break then between moving from Fresno to Cayucas, or did you jump right in? Well, actually, it was the first week I was here. It was the July 4th week, and this guy <laughs> was walking by. It looked familiar, and I uh, yelled his name, and that's who it was. Uh -huh. And uh, 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 Dick Moore yeah. um, was a member of the club in Fresno and said, you're going with me Thursday to the Rotary Club, and I was in. I did not know that. that. So simple. both of you came from the same area. Yeah, same oh, area, same club. Amazing. Yeah, and that, that was is. great. Tell us a little bit about the size of your club. How, how large is it? Right now we have uh, 27 members, so we have grown significantly in, that, in the last 12 months. Good. We went from about 15, 16 up to 27. Wow, that, yeah. that is substantial. Yeah. Good yeah. size. Yeah. And I know you guys are a very active club. Uh, I see you guys everywhere. It is. Uh, we have a great group of people who are absolutely dedicated to the principles of Rotary. And uh, one of our um, uh, parts of our mission statement is about our volunteerism. Oh. And they absolutely live up to that. Sounds good. And yeah. you meet at a school, right? Is we meet correct? at uh, uh, Cayucas Elementary School okay. in the good. cafeteria. And uh, they even cook for us for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> nice, and, nice. Uh, and we have a great time there, and 7 to 8 o'clock, and uh, have great meetings, and we have a lot of fun. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Visited your club a few times, and I'm trying to figure out who adopted who, whether you adopted the school or they adopted you. So it seems fairly mutual. Yeah. It's a good, yeah, good it is mutual. Uh, the school has always been the primary focus of our club since the beginning. Mm -hmm. We've expanded with the amount, you know, it's like anything. If you can raise enough money, you can do more. Right. And right. Uh, our, we've been able to really create some fundraising opportunities. And right. so the school is still our primary focus. But we have another school now that's also a primary focus, which is Rancho El Chor, Outdoor School. Good, good. Yeah. Now, since you jumped into that one, let's, you came here. Uh, we wanted to talk about this Rancho El Chor. Um, it's an outdoor environmental camp, correct? That's correct. And it's environmental literacy that they teach. Environmental uh, literacy, is that? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, little... they, they teach the flora, the fauna. Okay. They teach uh, marine biology from dissection standpoint of wow. squids. Wow. But they also have a little uh, a building separately for marine life that they have there for the kids to touch and hands-on. 
but they also take them to the tidal pools and teach them. The school focuses on the Central Coast environment. And they start with uh, first grade on up to high school. Wow. So over okay. 10,000 students a year go through the outdoor school. Great. And where is it located at? Wow. Good question. <laughs> it is right between Morro Bay okay. and San Luis Obispo on Highway 1, okay. right across from uh, Cuesta Community College. Okay. So it's across the street about a mile and a half up in the hills. Okay. And their classrooms are tree stumps under big oak trees. I mean, it is literally an outdoor school. Great. Right. Well, let's jump into some of the pictures. Uh, the first picture we have uh, shows a sign. I, I understand that that's actually a rendered sign, correct? Uh, yeah, that's a, a... Future look? Yeah, that, that's what we're looking for. Okay. That's correct. Very good. And that's the entranceway, basically what it looks like at the camp itself. That's correct. That's... Nice, uh, nice. Yeah, real nice. It is very nice. And uh, next picture you have is a picture of a, it looks like an outdoor amphitheater area. That's, that's the old one. That's the old one. That's okay. correct. And uh, the three clubs from San Luis Obispo, so the Monday Club, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll probably get all these names wrong, but uh, <laughs> the, the we're, we're Tolosa trying. and... Okay. De Tolosa, okay. Yeah, and I forget. Daybreak? Yes, look at that. Yeah, no I, problem. That help you out with that one. <laughs> Those three clubs donated okay. a, about $60,000 between labor wow. and materials, not, not to fix it up, but to rebuild it completely. Wow. So the wow. amphitheater is all new now, and it's called the Rotary Amphitheater. Nice. And the three clubs have their names on that amphitheater. Now I noticed also in that picture you have some barracks in the background. Were those uh, oh. actually... That's correct. Changed or are they still there? Those are barracks? old military barracks they that are. were given to the school 40, 50 years ago. Wow. And the focus of the project started out to replace these. Okay. Because they need to be replaced. Right. And uh, we were doing that, we are doing that with yurts. Okay. So uh, uh, that's been exciting. That's how it got started. But once we focused on their need, which was that, we did tours of the campus and saw other needs. Okay. And once those were identified, then we created a website and we started sending out requests to other Rotary clubs to join the join the project and we've had an incredible response. Incredible Very response. Very good. Yeah. So the next picture we have is a picture, it looks like you're getting ready to yeah. pour a footing or do flooring for something. It's yeah, we a, were demoing. That's their demo. Okay, Your next demo uh, okay. really three, four pay, pictures are different aspects. Okay. And of course, I'm supervising in one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looks like you're doing quite well at it. <laughs> And so the next picture you have of actually doing the flooring, that's coming off, not going that's correct. on, correct? That's correct. Okay, so this is kind of the condition of the old barracks themselves. That's correct, yeah. Okay, um, next picture we have is uh, next to a fire pit. Yep. That would be... The uh, fire pits were removed and replaced, okay. rebuilt, okay. And, um, and then, of course, we rebuilt the whole thing. But we also made it about 50% bigger. Oh. Okay. So the amphitheater, there's a... Uh, the stage area is about 50% bigger. And then we also put some doorways to go behind. There's an area where they can change clothes, costumes, whatever's going gotcha. on, which they didn't have before. Nice. Oh, very yeah. nice. Yeah. We also put in a new sound system for outdoors. Oh, okay. And that was donated from uh, the club in Atascadero. Okay. And the Cayucas Club. And then the installation was donated. Wow. Um, also by Coastal Homeworks. Okay. So even though Coastal Homeworks was not a, in Rotary, He's a, it's a, it's a person who's, you know, gives back through community nice. service nice. also. Okay. Great young man. Great, great. Yeah. So the next picture we have is a picture of somebody uh, guarding the uh, materials, it looks like here. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, that working hard. You. That was me working hard. <laughs> yeah, that's I right. see nobody stole anything, though, so you <laughs> nope, did your job. No, no, that's right. That was from our security company, as you can see. Very <laughs> yeah, successful. I can see that. Very good. <laughs> looks like you got a position in life right there. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite position. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Now, uh, next picture we have is um, looks like a group on stage. That is uh, the group of the ribbon cutting for the three Rotary Clubs. Okay, so that is yeah. the new stage then you're talking That's about right. with, the, uh, yep. with the screen in the That's back? That's correct. Very That's nice. That's correct. And you can see at the, well, at the next one, this, the Rotary Amphitheater sign is got, on it at the top. It. Okay. Yeah. Um, volunteers uh, for the ribbon cutting, were most of those actual workers there? Oh, yes. That came oh, back? Yeah. Or? Oh, yeah. We had a great response. Um, I, I have to tell you that the, those three clubs were amazing. The amount of labor it took yeah. and the amount of funds it took, all three got together. Uh, they also provided all the engineering and um, structural, everything. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, those three clubs are very strong clubs, as, as you say, and yeah. they definitely uh, have a pretty substantial footprint in San Luis yes, Obispo. <laughs> 
Next picture we have is a picture of a crate, it looks like, with some materials you're shipping that in here. That crate has the first yurt in it. Oh, okay. So there's a yurt uh, underneath, but we're putting in the slabs. Okay. They're round slabs, and we uh, have all the uh, conduit coming up for plumbing oh. and electrical. Got it. Yeah. So we are going to see what a yurt actually is. That's um, correct. Where'd the name come from, by the way? Do you have uh, any idea? Yeah, of, of course. It's, uh, it's a mobile home, basically, but it, from the Matic uh, Mongolia. Okay. And that's what they're called in Mongolia, is yurts. And they would pick them up and move as the uh, food source moved. They, Got it. they just followed it, and as the weather changed. So they're really quite... Um, Economical, number one, mm -hmm. and then they're very mobile. Okay. And so the wood is, is fabulous, as you'll see. Okay. Um, Next. So in 15, 20 years, maybe 25, you replace the skin, but you won't have to replace the structure. Oh, the structure itself yeah. holds up. Yeah. Okay. Next picture we have is uh, somebody here who looks like they're caulking something down. Is yep. that correct? Yep. I'm just hard at work. I'm <laughs> just hard at work. <laughs> That's yeah. you, huh? Yeah. So you took your bed away, put you to work. That's right. <laughs> Very good. And what is that piece that you're actually working on? What's that going to go to? Uh, if you look at the slab, you'll see there's there's a piece of wood that goes all the way around. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh, so and, that's part of that. And we had to put that so we could attach the yurt fencing, which you'll it. see later on to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the next picture actually is of the yurt fencing yeah. going up. Yep. And okay. it just it's an accordion style. It's small, oh, okay. and it just stretches out and stretches out wow. as you go around, and, and then you attach it. As you can see down on that piece of wood we installed. Got it. So the yeah. next picture shows actually of that being stretched out into position yeah. around a door. Yep. Yeah. That, that is impressive. Now, where did the construction of this come from? The design and... Oregon. Um, Oregon. It's interesting. One of our uh, Rotary Clubs who's sponsoring this is from uh, Cottage Grove, Oregon. Okay. And we found them because the person who owns the yurt company uh, happens to be Rotarian. Okay. In Cottage Grove. Okay. And so they were extremely helpful in giving us a much lower price because it was a rotary project. Sure. We, we saved a few thousand dollars nice. on each one because we put four up at a time. And, um, you know, so, so to the north, uh, Cottage Grove, Oregon is, is our partner in the north. Got it. To the south, it's Compostela, Mexico. We're actually an international project. Wow. Okay. Um, Santa Ana was one of the first clubs to come on board okay. to do the architecture. Uh, the, this all came about when I was at the PETS, okay. President of Elect Training. Okay. And um, I was so inspired by a, a Rotarian up in the Northwest who did the food bank. Mm -hmm. And he spoke at that PETS and I mean, it was so inspirational. Hmm. And so I had this idea about this and I happened to run it by the president-elect of Santa Ana, and she was an architect. And the first thing she said is, I want to be a part of this. <laughs> and so her husband is also an architect, and the two came up to uh, Cayucas, and we went out there, and they did all the design, they did all the work for free, donated their time, sure. and it just kept snowballing as people uh, said this is a great project for Rotary. It's amazing how Rotary works, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It is. It's you amazing. have a vision, and the next thing you know, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, the next picture we have is a picture actually of the doorway, uh, yep. looks like. Yeah, that's kind of a little out of order, but the door order. goes up first because you attach one side and then work your that way around. That makes sense to, yeah. to stretch yep. out the, that's correct. the wall. Yep. Okay, um, so that's part of the prefab system of, that, of, of the unit yep. itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next picture shows the door in place and some of the... Uh, Yep. These rafters going up on top there. Yep. Again, is that prefab? Is that no, no. You got to put one at a time up there. That was a lot more difficult. Uh, I was the first about one. That. Yeah. Okay. Here's what we learned. The first one took us four days to put up. The second one took us three days to put up. The third one took us two days to put up. <laughs> and the fourth one, once we had it down pretty good, took us about a day and a half. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. They're not difficult, but. The first one is a learning curve. Sure, it is. Yeah. It is. It's yeah. like putting a puzzle together sure. once you've and done it, it a few is. times. Yeah. 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 Now, are those um, rafters actually pre-drilled or pre-cut or anything like that, or do you have to custom those? They they notch them. They notch them. So those so are notched. Fit. Oh yeah, okay. they fit, um, and it's pretty interesting the way they do it. Yeah. Okay. So the next picture is you uh, actually fitting them in up on top then. Yes, that's when you're finishing there. and getting everything aligned before you put 
uh, the skin up. Gotcha. You start with the, the, the roof. Okay, and so the next picture actually has the skin going on. Yep. So you have uh, half of it. Does it come as one sheet or is it's it? It's all one. All one. Yeah. Okay. Makes it pretty quick then. That yes, part, it does. Right? Okay. yes, it does. Yes, it does. It takes uh, some hands to get that up there, then I see. Uh, uh -huh. Looks like just one person pulling this one stretch tight, but I'm sure you got a few people there. Yeah, well, they're working in different places, too. Okay. Yeah. Now, does the center stay open, that center round hole? Mm -hmm. that, that remains Well, there's open? a, no, it, it, later on they put a, a dome over it, okay. which is, you can open. Kind of cap over the, then. Which draws the air and keeps it kind of ah, cool inside. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then this picture here we has is of it finishing out. It looks like a mm -hmm. window element in there also, right? Correct. Yep. There's actually four windows. Four windows. So you can open those up to get a breeze through. Okay, got it. Because it can get warm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the next picture we have is uh, somebody here getting ready to, like, probably yeah. getting ready to put that cap on that That's you're correct. talking about. That's correct. Okay. Wow. He's just finishing nice. off uh, with the, the top. Okay. And then the, you'll see, I think, in the next then one. Then the next picture here the, actually shows the dome, the dome on. Yeah. Okay. Then in the next picture, we actually have the sides going on. That's correct. And I see the, the window actually, is that screened or is that glass? Yeah, yeah. No, it's glass. It's glass. It's glass. Okay. Yep. And so the internal frame remains the same, so you could always accordion it back. That's right. Make it portable. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Well, that's a wild design. Yeah. It's very well thought out. It is. Um, next picture we have looks like a finished product. Uh, six of you there that... Put it yep, together? Yeah, on that day. There's actually a couple more that couldn't be out there at the end. You know, okay. So we had people coming in and out helping. Okay. But that was, these were pretty much there every day. Okay, so you six. figured about six man crews six, enough six to put days. those out? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay good. And it helps if you got somebody 6'5". <laughs> it does. Now, did you have somebody 6'5"? Yes, we did. <laughs> it, it wasn't you. <laughs> no, no, I wish. Just checking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't know if you uh, shrunk a little bit in your age there. <laughs> Over the last year, but <laughs> good for you. Very good. Yeah. Now, the team that you have in this picture, are they mostly Rotarians? Or and the, the, with the big group? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that is a little bit of everything. That's our club members. It's also a couple of members from Morro Bay, Los okay. Osos, which are clubs that also work. Right, right. Those. Okay. Yeah. Boy, you yeah. uh, included everybody yeah. then. That yeah. whole, uh... And uh, the second from the left is mm -hmm. the superintendent of... A county Office of Education for okay. the whole county. Okay. Yeah. And so they're involved with that Dr. also. Yeah. Well, out. and and Dr. Brescia is also a Rotarian oh. in Paso Robles. Paso Robles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paso Robles. That's another club then. That's correct. Sounds like you're up to about eight or nine clubs. Thirteen. Right now. We're up to thirteen. Now. Thirteen clubs yeah. working on this one. Outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly. And from more that. are coming on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That includes the uh, club from up north and the Santa Ana Club too. Then. Oh yes. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. And that's. Uh, let's see. You also got Los Osos, Morro Bay. Uh, Don't forget anybody because they're going to be Paso watching Paso Robles. Oh, yeah. The three there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, good. And, and we've got one that's considering right now in, in, in Myanmar. Oh, nice. Uh, formerly Burma. Right. It's a club that formed in 1929 and will have its first female president July 1. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it does take a little while for change some places yes, around the world. Yeah. yeah. Next picture he has a picture actually looks like a, the village complete there. That's it. There's the four. Yep. And, and how we build the villages, you've got four of them. Mm -hmm. The one up on this particular one on the, mm -hmm. on the right, far right, uh -huh. also has bathrooms in it. Oh, because the school gotcha. at this point had, when we started, only had one bathroom, community. And you had mm -hmm. to walk all the way down. When you've got kids in the second, third grade, yeah. it's a problem. Let me tell you. Yeah. When the kids yeah, are definitely. staying all night, because some kids stay, stay for a week, you wake up in the middle of the night, you got to go down a gravel road. It's mm. a little spooky. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you are outside. You yeah. are, it's an outdoor school. Now, so. do they have lighting or anything in there, or is it all flashlight? No, no. They all have lighting and everything. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, how about the, the walkways, things like that? A little bit less. I haven't been there at night. Oh, okay. So I'm sure they've got something, but, you know, just as a kid, sure, sure. it's, uh, exactly. it's pretty difficult. Yeah. Good, good. Next picture we have is, uh, looks like one of the units. Uh, we've got the Rotary yep. sign on the door there. and Those are members of the Rotary Club of Compostela, Mexico. Oh, okay. And they came up and uh, to see it. And you, it's our club and their club's name is on that door. Oh, very nice. And very nice. Uh, just, I'm, I'm telling you, it's one of the greatest group of people. I just love them. They're nice. wonderful people. Nice. They, are, yeah. they are wonderful people. Their focus up in Compostela is on disabled children and yes. things for, for the, um, their health and things. So very, very nice. we try to partner with them when we can also. Good, good. Yeah. 
So um, we have an, a picture right now showing the door actually itself. So that's yep. the door with the signs yep. on that one. Each now is each building actually um, sponsored by somebody? Do you put, yes. Uh, so each, so as, each door will have a plaque yes. on it. Yes, we will have plaques on every bench. Okay. And uh, we will have anything somebody does. We want to put their name on it. It's very important. Very good. And so, you know, we're, it's it's an unusual situation. Rotary throughout this country just gives unbelievably yeah. to to other clubs, projects around the world. True. And so this is kind of unusual because we're doing it's an internet. It's not a global through Rotary International sure. project, but it is international sure. because of who is now helping with this. Yeah. And I think part of that is because they focus on uh, things that Rotary focuses on. So like the four-way test, now at my age, <laughs> remember the old Burma shave signs along the highway? Yeah, yeah you know, I do, actually. They would do, you'd say this. <laughs> and then, say, but it's yeah, been a while. I know. You well, really rattle my memory We took the four-way test and we've made signs for the kids when they walk along the trail, the four-way test. First you'll see, is it the truth? You walk yeah. a little further. Yeah. Is it fair to all concern? Anyway, nice. so what they've done is they've incorporated the ethics training through the four-way test. Okay. And they also do peace building through conflict resolution. Okay. And the, uh, so we're tying that sponsorship into what Rotary is okay. all about. Okay. And when you've got kids young, right through high school, you're really um, instilling those ethical behaviors and, True. and the important qualities that they need True. to have to be successful in That's life. That's good. It's been great. It's okay. been a great project and the kids have a great time. And they do the four-way test and things at night around the campfires. Okay. And they talk about those things. So. Now, the staffing of the um, faculty, is that actually by the school faculty or is it also by volunteer adults? Do you know? You know, I'm not sure, uh, it, but it's contr controlled through the County okay. Office of Education. So. so my guess is they don't often spend the night there, um, most of them, because you said the younger. As you get older, the, sixth yeah, grade camps, yeah. I would no, say. No, but the yes. others, yeah. Yeah, the older okay. the kids get, okay. the more they stay there. But it's really up to the schools that bring that their kids. Too. Now, and no child is left behind. See, so the, the schools yeah. pay for the kids that go there. Mm -hmm. And if a child, a student can't afford it, there are scholarships that right. there's a fund that uh, the county office of ed education has for them. So no, no child is left behind in that regard. Got it. Um, now, the schools that come in, are they mostly... Um, from San Luis Obispo, or are they included? Well, from all of areas? the all the schools in San Luis Obispo mm -hmm. use it, mm -hmm. and but also from the valley, uh, over in the San Joaquin San Valley, Joaquin valley. Uh, okay. Monterey County. Wow! And now uh, even some from uh, Southern. Yeah. Because there was an outdoor school down in uh, I think either Orange County or LA County that closed, hmm. so it's available well, to so them also. also. So anybody, wow. any school can use it. Now, I remember my grandson actually went there. He's from Carpinteria, so they yeah. were up there for that also. Yeah. Well, yeah, and we get them from Kern. You know, there's... Outstanding. Yeah. That's, a, that's a So great nobody's group. turned away, and you can... Actually, you can... Uh, if you want, you could have a family reunion there. Mm -hmm. But it's... You know, that's when the kids aren't there. Right. For sure. some reason. For sure. But it's busy all year round. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Now, I, I recall there's actually a lake there, too, a very small yeah, lake. Yeah, there's right? a small lake. Okay. Big pond. And big po a big <laughs> <You> know, pond. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they have a lake, and they study, you know, life in the ponds and, okay. and all around it, for, you know, the snakes. They yeah. also have um, a raptor uh, oh, okay. home, Okay. and that's one of those things they would like to have totally replaced, and I was out there the other day. It, yeah. it needs to be taken to the ground and rebuilt into a state-of-the-art raptor center. Nice. But oh, they no, have a they have nice. a vulture, they have a big red tail hawk, and they have an owl. Okay. And uh, each one has been wounded mm -hmm. in a, in different ways, and so they take care of them. And it's really an incredible place. It is. Yeah. yeah. So uh, question would be, how did you get involved with the camp? I mean, how did did they reach out to Rotary? Well, or no, no. Um, what happened was I was at Pets, and just be, well, actually, go back before Pets. Uh, it was my year. I was president-elect, and as every president-elect says, I want to come up with a project. And I was out uh, speaking with the superintendent and told him, I'm looking for a project. And he said, why don't I take you back to Rancho El Chor and show you something? Mm -hmm. Because we have a real need. And I went back and toured the, 
the grounds. It's 247 acres, by the way. This oh, is wow. huge. That is big. Yeah, yeah. it's huge. And uh, he showed me the cabins, and my question to him was, well, what do you need? And he said, well, we'd like to replace the cabins. And that's how it started. And then I started thinking about, well, you know, if we do that, how about if we make this a rotary outdoor school in the sense of bringing in the ethical training for kids? Because they have great challenges today with the things that impact their lives. Right. And um, not in necessarily a positive way. Hmm. You know, they're, they're so techno media driven. Sure. And parents can't control it all the time what they're listening to. They can try, sure. but let's face sure. it. It's difficult, so this was a way, in my opinion, was let's reinforce ethical behavior in kids. We, we've got them, they're coming here, and it was, a, it's, it was like a trade-off. And he said, absolutely, we will do that if you wanna do that. And then I took that idea down to pets and the response I got from everybody. Yeah, got, yeah. It's that was just amazing. That is good. Seeing a niche, as you say, you know, from going from education and just the day-to-day -day for these students to all yeah. of a sudden be outdoors where you and I, of course, we were kind of brought up that way, but yes, we were sh yeah. sharing the outdoors, yeah. which kind of disappears. So yeah. it's about a five-year project. I knew it was going to be a long project, just because when you start off, you're small. It's Cayucas, mm -hmm. and then we got, you know, Morro Bay. You know, you got Santa Ana. You got the ones that are closest yeah. to you. Yeah. And then I just kind of took it on the road and would give a presentation if I could be a speaker at a meeting. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. and so we're still growing. We've, we're in our middle of our second year, Okay. so we know we've got another, you know, two and a half years to go, three and a half years to go, and um, on the other hand, we may never stop. I mean, at that point, there's always something, and if this is something that the Rotary Clubs want to continue to, to do, great project for, for the states, quite it's, frankly. It's actually a great project overall, Steve. Yeah. Uh, we sure appreciate the time and effort you put into this one, and thanks for sharing the project. Well, Outstanding project, um, and again, bringing back those things and values that we had, and in Rotary is something outstanding. Sure. Appreciate it. With that, everybody, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, take a look at the the park itself, the camps. Uh, there may be one in your neighborhood. Uh, make that difference. Try and do what we can, and Rotary is there to help each and every one of you. Thank you, and we will see you next time. <laughs>